Hey Bricks, it's Brickly here and in today's video I'm gonna show you my entire Lego The Lord of the Rings and my Hobbit minifigure collection. So we got a lot of stuff to cover so let's go ahead and get around to this video. So over here we got Frodo Baggins from the Shire. On his left we got the entire fellowship over here as you can see. I modified some of the minifigures. Uh, especially uh, Aragorn over here, as you can see, made him a more, a little bit more of a ranger. And we got Bilbo Baggins here. We got Lady Galadriel, Elrond, Arwen, Elrond in battle uniform. Haldir, another elven soldier from Haldir's army, uh, who actually uh, went Helm's Deep. I gave him, uh, of course, the dark bluish hood and the cape as well, so quite nice minifigures. And then over here, starting with my first army, I actually got my Rohan army over here. So that's quite a nice collection of Rohan minifigures. Got my bowman over here, Eomir here with his sword. Got King Theoden without his armor on. Gave him, actually gave him the hair piece from Luke Skywalker. And over here we got King Theoden on his white horse. Got this white horse. I believe it is a Scooby-Doo set with, of course, uh, the Pumpkin Man, uh, I think it is. And we got my Swordsman over here, quite amazing Rohan minifigures, so I gotta love those. And over here we also got a nice Rohan Commander, he's actually custom, I believe it's Hama, so made that custom Hama. And then I got my Rohan Horseman over here in the back. So also quite a nice army with, of course, the banner of Rohan Rohirrim. So I got a lot of Rohan riders over here, as you can see. Quite a nice collection. Pretty happy with it as well. Then going to the right, we got my undead army over here. Isn't really that big. We got my Corsair army. Well, that's just one minifigure, so we can't really call that an army, can we? But I'm, I'm thinking of in expanding these armies uh, when I hit my Orc army goals in the near future. So those are probably gonna be expanded uh, in uh, the course of maybe two years or something. So I'm looking forward to that project. It isn't really on the doorstep right now, but yeah, let's get back to the minifigures. So over here, I actually got all my double figures from Lord of the Rings. So we got a lot of minifigures over here, Gandalf the White, some Gandalfs, Frodo's over here, a lot of Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas, Thranduil, Bilbo's, and such. So awesome minifigures. And then over here, if we're going to move to this side, actually got my Dwarves of Erebor. We got Thorin and his company. These are actually only the Dwarves in battle uniform. And I'm going to show you the other dwarves in just a sec. We got the uh, Thorin's cousin, Dane, I believe it was. We got some elves over here, Thranduil, Legolas, of course, Tauriel. Uh, we got some awesome minifigures over here with the elves. Pretty nice for my uh, UCS Rivendell collection from Lego Mocklock over here. So I would love to add those elves to that set. And then over here, got my small elven Mirkwood army. Got a couple of those elves. Actually, because I got four of those sets back in the day. They were pretty cheap back then, so that's quite nice. Over here, I got Bayorn. We got Radagast the Brown. And, of course, Lord Elrond in battle uniform. And I believe that this minifigure looks far greater than the one Lego actually put out earlier. As you can see here, younger Lord Elrond really doesn't look that good as the older one over here. So I'm pretty happy with that minifigure. I would be using this one uh, far more instead of this one. So that's uh, really just my opinion. I think that the one on the left is far better. And then if we're going to go over here on the left, you can see my Gundabad Orc army. And it really isn't that big. I got 26 of these Gundabad orcs, which is quite amazing. I think they're really cool because of their orange uh, skin tone and of course their uh, well faces with all of that paint on it and the white paint of course. You actually got two different 
variants of these orcs, which is quite great. I'm pretty fond of these orcs. I think they really are cool. I think they captured it well. It is really, it is really disappointing that LEGO never created uh, those orcs from The Hobbit, uh, which are in full warfare uniforms and armor. That would have been great, but nonetheless, I think that these minifigures really are great. I love them. I love the orange color. It really gives variety to your orc armies. And I think that Lego The Hobbit really fits well with these minifigures. So I'm pretty happy with these minifigures. The torso printing on the figures also is quite nice. So I definitely couldn't imagine a Lego The Hobbit theme without these. Moving over here in the back, we got my goblin army. And as you can see, I got a couple of smaller goblins over here. I switched around all of the torsos and such, so I have a really messy goblin army, just as in The Hobbit. And I actually got this one with the longer hair, who actually fights Bilbo uh, when he gets lost in uh, the caves of Gollum. Over here, we got my goblin king with a custom mace. But I think that you're mostly interested in my goblin army over here. And which I think is a shame is that Lego never created the custom goblin mold which they already had uh, until at last moment they decided to go with this sort of, uh, well, more Lego mold. So as you can see, I think that the, the older one, the older design for these goblins would have been much better for Lego to use. But nonetheless, I think there are great minifigures. And I definitely am happy with those in my collection. Moving over here onto the right, we got my Hunter Orc army with, of course, Azok the Deviler. Got a couple of Hunter Orcs, random Orcs. We got some commanding Orcs, or really Hunter Orcs over here with a lot of armor. And I'm especially proud of this Orc right here and this one. I think these two appear in the movie a couple of times. So I'm pretty happy with those. Over here we got Yuznak, uh, yeah, Azog as I stated earlier. We got the Necromancer over here, aka Sauron. Spoiler alert! <laughs> and then we got another Azog, the Defiler, in, well, with his sort of, uh, well, shouting mouth over there, so that's pretty cool. And I almost forgot to show you that I have my Lake Town collection with three bard minifigures, Bane, of course, the. Hatmaster, I think, and of course, a soldier of Lake Town. So, quite great minifigures. Pretty happy with those. And now we're gonna go to the other side of my collection, which also has something to do with the Lego The Hobbit theme. Uh, these are some custom or fake, whatever you wanna call it. They are not Lego. I wanna get that out there, but I got them because Lego didn't make, make these. Uh, these are some of those uh, custom Dwarven Soldiers, and these actually appear in the Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies, so I'm pretty happy I get these. As you can see, they overall are quite great minifigures. I think that they really are great. Uh, the only downside to these figures is that they really come loose pretty quickly, uh, their hands fall off and such. But other than that, they really are great for display, so if you're looking for a Dwarf Army, uh, they really are great. Let me know if you have any questions about these dwarves. I think that this really is a good way to expand your Lego The Hobbit collection uh, if you want to really focus on the characters and, uh, well, not if they're Lego or not. But I don't support getting uh, a fake Frodo or something. Uh, I only support you when you get minifigures which aren't made by Lego. And then over here we got my eagle collection, pretty fond of those eagles. Over here, we, of course, we got the Fire Drake Smaug. One of my favorite big figs, or, well, dragon, dragon figures out there. I love Smaug, and it's just such a great dragon Lego figure, uh, which I really had to include in this video. So I'm pretty happy with Smaug over here. Got him on top of a little piece of dill over here. And then we're gonna go move on to my Moria Orc army. As you can see here, I got my cave troll with, of course, the Moria Orc over here. The, this one is actually original from the set, so it didn't really swap out a lot. But over here, I got all my Moria Orcs, and I'm pretty proud of those. I got 33 in total, so that's quite great. I'm pretty happy with that. And it's really impressive, just imagine. There, is, there are only two of those 
uh, within the Mor Mines of Moria set. And that set is going for around uh, $100 or $200 at the moment. So I'm pretty happy with 33 of these minifigures. That equals to 15 Moria sets or no, 16 Moria sets. So that's quite impressive, even if I say so myself. I actually added the shields over here, as you can see, if you if you were wondering, from the Corsair ship right over there in the back. So I removed the shields and I used them to put them on my orcs over here, Moria orcs. And I also put them on my Mordor orcs over here. Quite a nice collection of Mordor orcs. I love these minifigures and I think they really are great. Let me see here. I got 37 of these Mordor orcs if I'm correct. And I also got another cave thrall over here. So that's pretty cool. And I got the catapult over here as well. And in addition to my Mordor orc army, I got my Mouth of Sauron figure. And of course, Oh, this looks amazing. My Mortar Orc army over here. Click the card on the top right corner of the screen if you want to see my Mortar Orc army. I'll leave a link to my LEGO Lord of the Rings armies in the description as well. And now we're going to move to a really cool part of my collection, which is my Nazgul collection. I got the nine Nazgul. And I'm one of the very few people who can actually say this, but... I'm pretty happy with them. I got nine Nazgul and they really are a bit pricey if you want to get the horses included as well. Uh, but I, I'm really happy with these Nazgul minifigures. As you can see, my uh, Witch King over here in the middle actually has the Morgul blade. And I'm planning on get a, getting a custom, custom helmet for the Witch King. So you'll be seeing that quite soon in my collection. And then over here, we got the Witch King, of course, as a Wraith. So quite nice minifigures over here. Pretty happy with what I got for the Lego Lord of the Rings. So I got two Cave Trolls, which is just great for my army, my Orc armies. And I really want to expand my Orc armies, but they're just getting so pricey uh, at the moment. So when I'm able to afford it, I might get some more, but I'm pretty happy for right now. But the, real, the army which I really want to increase in numbers is my Urukai army over here. I actually got around 180 of these Urukai figures over here. Just the regular Urukai uh, mixed with, of course, uh, the Urukai with the hand of Saruman on his helmet. So those are great minifigures. I love those Urukai. As you can see, I got my custom. Uh, Isengard banners over here as well as the Rohan banners which I showed earlier. If you want me to do a tutorial on those let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to do so. So I'm pretty happy with my Urukai army. I got a lot. If you want me to show you my entire Urukai army I actually got a video on that so click the card on the top right corner of the screen to watch that. Over here, I got my Berserkers, my Urukai Berserkers. These minifigures actually are all 100% Lego. Uh, the only thing I changed over here, as you can see, let me focus on this minifigure, is the helmet. So I actually added the, uh, the custom helmet, uh, which I got from AliExpress. And that's what I added. The figure is 100% Lego, only the helmet is not. As you can see, the original head is still under there. I just added this helmet to the figure to really make it look like a real Berserker Yurikai. And then over here, I got my Yurikai Commanders. These are all 100% uh, custom. So the only things which are custom in my collection are the Urukai Commanders, the helmets of the Berserkers, and of course these dwarves over here, the dwarves of the Iron Hills. So quite amazing and impressive molds. I'm pretty happy with them uh, because Lego never made them. Lego, bring back Lego Lord of the Rings, bring back Lego the Hobbit. Come on, we want it. Over here I got my custom and this is what, this is, uh, this in, uh, on the contrary is a real Lego minifigure, which is my custom Lurts. Pretty proud of that. 
got a black bow over here, got Saruman and Grima Wormtongue and this Urukai commander who actually stood on the rock in front of Helm's Deep. Now you might be wondering, hey, where's, uh, where's Shire Bilbo? Well, I actually have him right over here in front of Bag End. He's actually quite, he's chilling over here in front of Bag End. And he really wants you to see what's inside of here. And here are all my dwarves. Got another Gandalf over here. And I didn't really want to remove these dwarves because I have such a great scene over here. So I try to make this as accurate to the movie as possible. Don't really know all the, uh, who are on the seats and where, but I think that this really looked cool. So I got all my dwarves over here. And if you are wondering how you can build this bag end, uh, you can uh, click the link in my description to get the instruction. And I actually added these flowers myself, but that's what you can do uh, with this set. You can customize it, but this is just a template which really looks good. I mean, the only thing I added were these flowers and such. So it's a great set. If you want to get it, get the instructions in my description down below. And this is actually where we come to the end of this video. These are all my Lego Lord of the Rings minifigures. I'm pretty proud of what I got over the years. And if you did enjoy this video, of course, go leave a like, subscribe to Brickly, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on when I post something. And I'll see you in the next video.